In this morning's Health Watch, there is new hope for the blind, an artificial retina that can help the sightless regain some of their vision. It's just been approved in Europe. The FDA may soon do the same here in the U.S. CBS News correspondent John Blackstone has more. For Dean Lloyd, the world hasn't always been dark. I had functional vision until I was 34 or 35 years old. And then uh, I lost almost all of it in six months or less. Blindness robbed him of watching his daughter, Lisa, grow up. I was three when dad lost most of his vision, so I've never known my father to be sighted. The memory is still there. Still, Dean has thrived over the years. He became a lawyer, opening his own practice. <laughs> he does housework. He accepted that he would never see okay. again. Let there be light. Mm -hmm. Until a company called Second Sight came yeah, looking for volunteers for a clinical a trial on. that would surgically implant a bionic and eye. And, was... and my dream was for my dad to be able to see again. When he said he wanted to participate in this study, I was very excited about it. The device starts with a tiny video camera mounted in a pair of glasses. A transmitter in the glasses sends the images to a chip implanted on the back of the damaged eye. There, 60 electrodes send the image along the optic nerve straight to the brain. Today, Dean can make out shapes. He can tell light from dark. At one point, there appeared to be a breakthrough. He just all of a sudden exclaimed, oh, I can see your hand. I just was kind of speechless and in shock, and it took me a couple seconds. I just felt really overwhelmed. In fact, Dean had only seen an outline. But from total blindness, this is a major step. I might look at you, I can get your boundaries and borders, and you're, you're, you're a bit bigger than my daughter, that's for sure. For Lisa, the technology to help restore sight, and perhaps full sight, is more than just cool science. It's a race against time. So at 22, when I got the news... You got the news? When I got that news... You were going to go blind. Yeah. The disease her father has is hereditary. Lisa has already lost night vision. It's 50-50 whether she'll go completely blind. There it is. For now, she looks to her dad. You know, he's definitely been a pioneer. <laughs> and to the future. For me, if I do lose all of my sight, you know, dad's definitely shown me what, what to do and how to live my life, and I'm, I'm not wigged out about it. John Blackstone, CBS News, Sunnyvale, California. Nice. Boy, what a family. Joining us now with more on the device and how it works, medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton. I mean, revolutionary in so many ways. Break it down first, though. Who would actually be eligible for this? How many people could potentially benefit? Potentially, Erica, we're talking about 10 million people in wow. this country who are blind from problems dealing with their retina. So this is the part of the eye in the back where light images are converted into nerve signals and then transmitted to the brain. We're not talking about people who were born blind here, but for people suffering from macular degeneration or retinitis pigmentosa, which is what the father and daughter in this mm -hmm. piece had, potentially this is very, very helpful. It is still, though, experimental. We mentioned it was just approved in Europe. When do you think the FDA might approve it for use in the U.S.? Well, the company told us they hope to file that application for FDA approval in clinical trials here later this year. So there are only 10 people in this country, this man being one of them, who have the experimental device. In Europe, the cost is high. It's about $100,000 or more. Wow. Excitingly, the company also told us they're already at work on the next generation model, which instead of 60 electrodes has 240 electrodes, possibly making it more accurate. So, and so then perhaps if it makes it more accurate, maybe they could even make out, because we heard him say, oh, I see, you know, I see your hand right. to his daughter. He had sort of seen the outline of it. Could that mean that maybe they could make out more in terms Hopefully of Hopefully more accuracy. An interesting historical perspective, Erica, this is really where cochlear implants for people who are deaf, this is where they were 26 years ago. So we're a little behind that, but for visual problems, blindness, this is very, very Look exciting. Look how far that has come, too. Absolutely. Great news. Jen, thanks for being here this morning.